find the values of y for which the distance between the points P and Q is 10 units. The coordinates of point P are 2 and minus 3 and the coordinates of point Q are 10 and y. In this question, we are given two points, the point P and point Q. The point P is with coordinates 2 and minus 3 and coordinates of point Q are 10 and y. y is a variable and we are to find value of variable y. When distance PQ is equal to 10 units, the distance PQ is equal to 10 units, it is given to us. Now, According to the distance formula, the distance PQ is equal to square root of sum of x2 minus x1 whole square and y2 minus y1 whole square, where x2 stands for x coordinate of point Q and it is 10, x1 is equal to x coordinate of point P, it is equal to 2 y2 is the y coordinate of point q and it is y and y1 is the y coordinate of point p it is equal to minus 3. After substituting these values in this formula we will get pq is equal to square root of sum of 10 minus 2 whole square and y minus of minus 3 whole square 10 minus 2 is equal to 8 we know that 10 minus 2 is equal to 8 and y minus of minus 3 is equal to y plus 3 okay so we can write pq as square root of sum of 8 square and y plus 3 whole square. Now, according to the algebraic identity, a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus twice of ab. Using this identity here, we can expand y plus 3 whole square as y square plus 3 square plus twice of y and 3 okay so pq is equal to 8 square that is 64 plus y plus 3 whole square it is according to this identity it is y square plus 3 square plus twice of y multiplied by 3 so the distance PQ is equal to square root of 64 plus Y square plus 9 plus 6Y. We are given in this question that distance PQ is equal to 10. So we can write it as square root of 64 plus Y square plus 9 plus 6Y is equal to 10. On squaring both sides, we will get 64 plus y square plus 9 plus 6y is equal to 100. 100 can be transferred from right hand side to the left hand side and we will get after rearranging the terms y square plus 6y plus 64 plus 9 and minus 100 is equal to 0. So we will get y square plus 6y minus 27 it is 64 plus 9 minus 100 is equal to minus 27 and it is all equal to 0 it is a quadratic equation in variable y we can use the middle term splitting method in order to factorize this quadratic expression for this we want two numbers whose multiplication is equal to 27 and the difference is 6 so the two numbers whose multiplication is 27 and their difference is 6 are 
9 and 3. So we can split 6y as 9 minus 3 or you can say 6y is equal to 9y minus 3y. So using this splitting of middle term, we can write it as y square plus 9y minus 3y minus 27 is equal to 0. We can write it as y multiplied by y plus 9 for the first two terms. And the last two terms, we can write it as minus 3 whole multiplied by y plus 9 y plus 9 itself is a common term and we can write it as y plus 9 whole multiplied by y minus 3 and it is all equal to 0. We see that there are two terms and their multiplication is 0. It is possible only when either y plus 9 is equal to 0 or y minus 3 is equal to 0. y plus 9 is equal to 0 implies that y is equal to minus 9 and y minus 3 is equal to 0 implies that y is equal to 3. So in this way we got two values of y and they are 3 and minus 9.